All right, guys, how are we doing today? We got mystery boxes, so I'm really excited about this video. I put on my Instagram, I said, hey, if any five sellers that want to sell mystery boxes, because I have so many people ask me all the time, where can I get good mystery boxes? They buy some off me, and I just don't have enough product at the time that I really want to do that with. Um, I try to pass them on to someone else. So I bought five mystery boxes from five people off my Instagram, not just people, a lot of them were good friends and stuff, people I've known from a, for a while, but um, guys I know would give you a good box if you wanted to purchase one after watching this video. So I have five boxes here. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do one at a time, just kind of open through, kind of give you quick values of what I think I can sell everything at and just comps, I'll throw a comp up for every piece that I can find online. And we can just see who has the best value for the box. Um, and then you guys can go make your decision too, because this is this is opinionated. This If I go just off comps, which is the only way I can keep it fair for everyone, um, not just like my personal cool factor, then you guys can kind of see where you what you can sell items for that maybe I can sell for less or items I can sell for more that you sell for less. Vice versa, that's just the easiest way and the most fair way to do this. So. Let's get cracking on these. We'll start with this first one that actually just arrived today. This one is from Ray Perez. I know he wanted to go by a different, um, his like vintage page, it's, that's more of his personal page. I'll, uh, I put, I told everyone to put their info um, in the box so that way you kind of knew what to expect. But I see something really cool off the top and this is why I'm doing it non-biased because this is a crazy piece to me. Probably won't be a crazy piece if you're not from Indiana. But I see, wow, I see a couple crazy things. Okay, right. So, by the way, I paid $100 per box. That includes shipping and everything else. Um, every person, I gave them 100 bucks. They can put whatever they want in these boxes. They can be t-shirts, sweatshirts. I just asked for no hats because hats can get deformed and I don't sell hats, so I really don't want any of them. Um, but yeah, so I asked for no hats, but everything else was acceptable, pants included. So let's go through these. And first up, the Taz Indiana Hoosiers. This thing got me like, gave me the jitters a little bit. Okay, see, this is why I'm not doing the bias thing because I, to me, this could win just based off this t-shirt alone. Cause this year, I've been wanting this one for a long time. I've never found this one. Even in my four years of thrifting at IU, never found this exact shirt. I found one close to it, but not this one. Um, yeah, smells great too. So thank you for that great shirt that that gave me a smile and it made me excited all right oh this one's cool too so this one is a little chopped up but not terribly just the neck which can be repaired but it's a jordan jam space jam vintage warner brothers t-shirt so this is cool it's a cropped or not cropped it's a uh, chopped sleeves and neckline but that can always be fixed um and during the summertime they still sell pretty well it is single stitch. I'll pop up a comp. It's be hard to find a comp for this one, but I'll pop up what that t-shirt sells for um, when it's in perfect condition, and then probably chop it in half um, for that total value. But again, for $100, that Taz t-shirt's really cool. Oh, this one's sick too. All right, this is a 1987 Black Hills Rally Sturgis on the Haynes Beefy tag um, with a big Harley Davidson print on the back. I was looking to see if this was like a 3D emblem or something, but I don't think so. It just says for bikers only. It's not on a 3D emblem tag or anything, but the big Harley Davidson logo on the back. This is a cool one. So um, I think the $100 value is probably reached now. Then we have two more items in the box. We'll start off with this one. And Ray knows I like the Indiana College stuff. So he threw this one in, which is really nice. It's a Purdue, kind of like the three quarter length sleeve. Um, big Purdue boilers with peat in the middle of it. Pretty cool one. And dang, dude, this stuff smells so good. I don't know if you put like cologne on this stuff or if your crib just smells good, but dang, I like that. The Indiana, I'm gonna have to message you to ask what scent that is because that's that's nice. But um, we got the vintage Indiana crew neck, big size. I like that a lot. It's an XL. It's a true XL too, which is hard to find with um, vintage collegiate crew necks. And that's that whole box right there again. Thank you so much, Ray. I'm that IU Taz shirt may be a keeper for the summer. All right, <clears throat> next up, I just cracked it open, but this is from my vintage, what would you call him? He's like my uh, vintage like karate master, Brian. Um, he was my boss when I worked in Bloomington and we're just really good buddies and have been really good buddies for a long time. And yeah, so we thrifted together for years, did business together for years. 
um, work with each other like every day for years. And so he is a homie. Again, $100 box, same thing. This one looks like a stack of t-shirts, which no complaints from me right there. And we'll go through these real quickly. So first up, Dale Earnhardt. Looks like junior and senior, which is really cool on the NASCAR tag there. Nice one, front and back hit right there. These I might hold off until the summer to even post because um, these types of t-shirts I feel do a lot better in the summer, but let's keep looking through them. Next up, we got a vintage Jansport with tag. This stock, pretty cool shirt, pretty simple. Has a little bit of storage stain right there. Lower value t-shirt, but still a cool one nonetheless. I like branded t-shirts, so I'll take it. This next one is pretty cool. Game Henge, Game Henge, and the back says Ranger. I have to look this one up. I am not sure what this is, but this is a really cool print. I like this brown. Two Jupiters tag. I will uh, try to find a comp for that one and pop it up because I don't know anything about it, but it looks like a skater t-shirt in all honesty. So maybe skatewear, I don't know. Next one up is pretty, pretty cool. Armageddon movie promo t-shirt. Um, not dated, but I believe this is like 1998 or like 2000, something like that. Very cool, very good fade on that one. I like the black faded t-shirts. Ooh, next up we got a little true vintage going on. Kansas City Royals and the St. Louis Cardinals on the Screen Stars Ringer t-shirt XL. A very cool one, really good cropped fit to it. Um, super boxy, but this is kind of in right now. I'm gonna just want a nice cleanup and I think it'll sell pretty well. It has a little spas on the back. But again, this is probably another one that's gonna be really hard to find a comp for, but I will throw it up. I believe I can probably get around like 20 to 25 bucks for it. Ooh, this is dope. Okay, this is cool. It's Happy Acres Industrial Hemp Farm. So like a little bit of uh, the leaf on there. I don't really wanna get any type of YouTube strike because I don't live in a legal state, but Happy Acres Industrial Hemp Farm, Longboat Key, Florida, vintage single stitch on the crazy shirts tag. This one's fire. Um, again, this is, he, Brian, I swear, he finds the stuff that is ho so hard to find comps for. It's like always original, like one of one pieces. Um, but this one might have a comp because it is a crazy shirt tag from a company. So I'll try to find a comp on that and throw it up. But I would imagine I can probably get around like 30 to 40 for it. Next one, I don't know what this says. Oh, this is dope. It says art at the, art at the armory. Jeez, I don't know why it took me so long to read that, but occupied territory, super good wear on this one. This is a good summer t-shirt, um, single stitch and from the Museum of Contemporary Art in Chicago, Chicago, 1993, very cool one. This t-shirt had me chipping on my words. That's a cool one though. I think I'm definitely at at least a hundred dollar value so far. And we got a couple, ooh, okay. I see two out of the three of these I like. So this one's fire. This is a Wu wear from Wu Tang. Super good wear. It's like a really, I think it's, I think at one point it was like black and it's just faded because the uh, stitching is black, but this is faded into like this beautiful rose, rose pink. I don't even know on the Wu wear tag right there. So that's XL double stitch all the way around, but this one's crazy. Really good wear. Again, I, mean, I wish this one was smaller. It's an XL and it looks like it's even a big XL. Um, I wish this one was smaller because I would definitely rock this one. And this next one, I see this print on the back. Ooh, ooh, it's a long sleeve and it's smoked out. We got this vintage Harley Davidson, super smoked out, has a little hole right there. No tag, but this one's definitely 90, I think it says 96, Aspen, Colorado, a little hole right there. That's a crazy one though. These always sell well for me. Um, yeah, this is, this is smoked out too. So that's a good one. And this one is just a nice little piece on top. Super Bowl, Bob and Tom, Indiana Legends. If you're a Midwesterner, you probably know who they are. And this has even got the auto on it, which is crazy. Looks like Tom from Bob and Tom. And then, Bob, oh, they both signed it. Okay, I see now. They both signed it there. Really cool piece for a nice little cherry on top. This one surprisingly will do really well in the flea market, my local spot, because everyone kind of knows who they are. I think I can get around like $25 for this shirt in the flea market. From Yuli, Chamberlain Vintage, I'll pop it up right here. I think his was the biggest box, I wanna say. Um, very good size. And again, he had it here the next day, so he's gonna hit you with that quick shipping. 
but no, honestly everyone's package here they all were shipped within a week so no complaints at all with shipping time because sometimes mystery boxes the shipping can take a little bit but these guys got them here on time for me so i appreciate that next up oh this one's crazy the oakland raiders all over print on the lawn gone tag made in usa this one's nice um, Raider stuff always is, does well in the vintage community. Has a little bit of flaws down here. I mean, some minor stains, little holes and stuff like that. But um, yeah, it's a really nice piece. I'll pop a comp up for that one. Fill this box up. Next up, we got a Notre Dame piece right here. Oh, that's shout out Chamberlain and Eternal Vintage right there. There are a power couple in the Indiana vintage scene. So very cool guys. Nice little Notre Dame piece. They had a price of 20 bucks, which is at an event around what I'd price it at. So okay we got a cowboy boots cowboy stuff always does really well for me so i'm super cool with this one um i think i can get around 20 bucks for this t-shirt and yeah a single stitch as well dead stock with tags which is really cool and then we got ooh, this one's fire dang reebok big print reebok graphic right there reebok stuff notoriously doesn't do the best but this one is a loud enough proud never seen this shirt before um i think i can get around like 15 20 bucks for that so that's that's yeah fine with me for how much stuff is in here oh this is cool this is really cool Lennon and mccartney is that john Lennon and paul mccartney the long winding road good fade and wear on this one as well this one feels like it's an older t-shirt i don't know what the tag was it's completely worn down but really good size for how old this one looks. And I would say early 90s. So nice piece there. Ooh, Yuli and I share a common bond and that is soccer and vintage soccer stuff. Um, we always are talking about good soccer pieces when we catch up, but we got this nice Germany, German soccer jersey um, on the Adidas tag right here. Then we got a couple crew necks it looks like, which I am completely cool with that too. We got a nice vintage Mickey Mouse crew neck, black, good fade. These always sell well for me for around like that $25 mark. So Bugle Boy though, um, I think it's like Canadian maybe, but super cool crew neck. I kind of want to figure out who's Company Bugle Boy Co. I don't know. Company Bugle, Co Bugle Boy Co. Different language, cool little crew neck. Probably around 20 bucks for that one. And then we got a nice one here, a Kansas Jayhawks alumni crew neck. Good college piece on the Sophie Super Sweats right there. Um, yeah, I think they had it priced at 25 bucks. I think I would sell it for like around that, probably 30 ish. And then the last one up is a nice big old satin bomber. Ooh, it's Corvette. That's cool. Corvette down the sleeve. Both sleeves have it. Um, West Ark USA. This is a nice one for the flea market. Old car stuff always does well in there. I will put like 30 bucks on this jacket in the flea market. Next up, Frozen Oatmeal on Instagram. Check him out. We're always messaging back and forth on stuff. And um, yeah. Where? Okay, I wasn't sure where he was located. I'm not gonna like release his address or anything like that, but I was curious. And again, big box, very filled up. So I do appreciate that. And I see a nice little resellable piece on top. Quick seller for me always is the Mickey Mouse. This one is like dead stock condition, super thick. This is crazy quality, and this is one of the best quality Mickey Mouse pieces I've ever felt. Um, very plain and simple design, but that is perfectly fine with me. Next up, we got a Notre Dame, again, crew neck, which I'm completely cool with. This one's really nice. These types of sweatshirts always sell well for me, like the really preppy collegiate ones. Um, I feel like these sell a lot faster than a lot of other brands and styles I post to. But yeah, just a nice, super thick crew neck there. Um, good size on it too and then we have another nice Notre Dame crew neck in here on the champ sports super thick high quality again like no flaws at all and this one again I can probably get around the $30 mark for next up we got a Harley Davidson from 2004 it looks like um, 2004 Harley Davidson all day put in my flea market I can get around 15 bucks for it um, online you can sell them for a little bit more but I just find a lot of Harley so I always put it in there this one's cool. Um, local team, Indianapolis Indians, minor league baseball. Um, I do find a lot of their stuff, but a lot of it's very basic, like the freebie shirts they kind of hand out. Um, this one's nice. This is dated 1994. Not bad. Ooh, this last one is a good graphic. This is cool. Okay, so this is this is the little banger at the end. This is the one that sent the profit up. 
So right there, I would say we're about breaking even and this shirt set this over that breaking even mark. It is an all over print Fred Flintstone golf t-shirt. Wild one there, absolutely beautiful shirt. Um, no flaws at all and it is licensed. Um, 1993, Hanna-Barbera. They do all of like the designs early 90s for these companies. But yeah, this is a crazy one. Alrighty guys, so today is a new day as you can tell by the little facial uh, shave and everything else, but it's the next day. So I'm an idiot and the last box last night was not the box I thought it was and it was something completely different which you guys will see in another video. But right here is, is the next day, like I said, um, this package just arrived and this is the fifth, the fifth package um, so the very last one for the video and this is from whatever thrifts I will put up his Instagram right here I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing that right or whatever thrift uh, I'll put his Instagram right here into this one crack it open see what we can get and see how it compares to the other ones and so far I'm very very happy with every box that I've received I don't think anyone scammed me um, I think they were all very fair and um, personally I like two of them a little bit better than the other ones but that's just personal preference because of what was inside and I'll talk about that later once I'm done with this box this one might be the best one who knows it looks like there's a little note in here so I will read that first so it says Jack I appreciate you giving me an opportunity to be in a video of yours as well as what you add to the thrift community whatever thrift thank you brother I appreciate you and I appreciate you making this box for me so let's check it out again everything was a hundred dollars um, shipped so let's see what is inside. And first up, looks like there's something really cool. Looks like we got a redhead vintage hunting jacket, which is really cool. I, I really like these. I find these a lot, but I always like them. And this one has a really cool interior too. Um, I don't know if it's, I don't think it's reversible. No, it's not reversible, I don't believe. A really cool jacket. Um, I put these in the flea market, usually sell for like 30 to 40 bucks. So that one might be a little bit more. I need to look it up. But yeah, that's a, that's a fine first piece for me. Next up, we got this naughty and nice christmas t-shirt pretty cool one um more basic something i'll probably hold off until christmas for or just put in the flea market now next up we got this nike it is uh okay this is still cool this is a modern piece um but it is nice though it's a nike kind of retro style but it's Giannis, the greek freak um so Giannis nike piece um i don't know what this is worth i'll throw up a comp right now I imagine probably around like the 20 to 30 dollar range and then we got a couple more items we got this what does it say Rurforth? something delaware like an 80s t-shirt um again cheaper and probably like a 10 dollar piece in the flea market and we got looks like two more we got this one grandpa rocks gildan heavy cotton tea um yeah that one i definitely think a more of a flea market piece and then we got a pair of Reebok times Gigi Hadid. Okay. I know, I don't know who she, I know like the name, but I don't know exactly who she is, but it looks like a collaboration pair of swishy pants. So yeah, I think this one um, will be like at the, uh, probably at the $100 mark. I would say, I'm not 100% sure. I need to, I'll do comps for everything as well so you guys can kind of see. But yeah, that is the last box of this video. And thank everyone for participating in this. I had probably a hundred messages or so from people saying, hey, I wanna do a box, I wanna do a box. We're gonna do this series again, just based off of um, the reviews and how you guys like it. Um, if it doesn't do good, then I probably won't do this because it is, it is expensive. Um, buying $500 pretty much of like wholesale. So yeah, we're gonna end this video off. I, uh, I think it was really positive uh, interactions with everyone. I thought every box was good. Every box was worth $100. Um, in my opinion, some of them are going to be a little bit harder to get that mark, that money back than others. But I have a clear two in my mind that I think one, but I'm so curious if you guys thought won this. Um, and I'll put everyone so that in case you guys forgot, I'll put every um, in order right here and kind of which box was there. So like Ray was number one. And, um, but yeah, I, I think that this was a really good experience and it was an expensive experience as well. I spent $500 on all these boxes. Um, so yeah, if you guys could, I want to do this again. And I had so many viewers message me on Instagram and say, hey, I watch your videos, would love to do a box with you, but I had already purchased the five. So just let me know if you think I should do this again in the comments. And if you think I should, throw a like as well because I'm gonna need the love to uh, recoup some money on this one. So yeah, I think, I think that this was a good uh, overall video and I really wanna do this again for you guys next week. So if you guys would like to ever purchase a mystery box from me, because with this video, 
I'm also gonna say, I have a storage unit full of stuff right now that I can get rid of. So if you guys would like to purchase a box from me, let me know. I'm also gonna throw in a bunch of these items into those boxes. So if you see something in the um, video that you like and would like it in your box, message me on Instagram. I'll sell these, these mystery boxes to you for $100 shipped. And again, you're gonna get the same exact type of quality that what I got in this video. And if you like any of the boxes that I purchased, then you can find the Instagrams that I posted throughout this video and message those people and try to get a box off them as well. But if you just wanna go through me, that's completely fine. I will uh, do mystery boxes for you guys and you guys can purchase them straight off me off my Instagram or on the other sellers' Instagrams that I put on the screen earlier. But yeah, if so, so again, Instagram right here, Jack Thrifts. And if you see anything in my prior videos or anything I post on Instagram, whatever, I have seven, almost 800 items right now posted on my Depop right here. And everything is relatively well priced and under comps. Almost everything is under comps. So thank you guys all for watching. And again, please show some love on this video. I uh, spent $500 to get it going. Yeah, thank you guys all for watching again. I will catch you guys in the next one, which is gonna be a full trip to the thrift. I've been thrifting for the past like week and a half for this next video. So it's gonna be a good one. So stay tuned and subscribe. I'll catch you guys next week. Peace.